UW Green Bay's Lawton Gallery is opening a new exhibit today. It showcases some Afghan war rugs that were made between the 1970s and the early 2000s. And Steve Perkins and Christina Koopman join us live to tell us all about the exhibit. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So uh, give us the details about this exhibit and how it all came together. Um, this exhibit uh, it was guest created by a local curator from Milwaukee. And I met with her some months ago, and uh, I was really uh, pleased that we were able to book this exhibit in the Lawton Gallery. It runs through uh, till October the 2nd, and we have 28 uh, war rugs, and uh, they're just really fascinating objects. What are the r war rugs? Well, they're, w they're rugs that um, have incorporated the elements of uh, essentially the sort of military from the Soviet occupation time. and. Uh, since the Americans have been here, and they basically um, changed out the uh, typical floral designs and symbols, and they've incorporated images of tanks and guns and all the different sort of material of war. And Christina, what are you hoping people who come to see these rugs will learn about? We really just would like to see that it is an art form. While the imagery has changed recently, this is a thousand-year-old art form. A rug like you're seeing now would take well over a year to make. And these are really the livelihood of the artists who make them. And it's, it's an expression of collective memory that we'd like people to come and share and experience. And who were the women who made these rugs? Um, the uh, Baluchi uh, tribe in a, a certain era in um, Afghanistan are traditionally rug makers. Um, and so, yes, it's, uh, it's pretty much a women's art, not exclusively. The war rugs really represent a very small fraction of the rug output, and some people uh, reckon it's a sort of 1%. But they've become very popular, um, I think, particularly for the soldiers and the armies who were uh, in Afghanistan. Probably not so much for domestic consumption. Well, Steve and Christina, thanks for giving us a little taste of the exhibit. I know you have an opening reception tonight, and we will put all the information on our website, fox11online.com, uh, under Good Day Wisconsin. And we'll check back with you next hour. Great, thanks. Thank you.